Hi, this is Zach with Warner Wound, and today we'll be taking a look at uh, the DeFacto Detail. This is the newest watch uh, from DeFacto, which is a brand that uh, we've discussed a few times before, and they're really known for uh, making very bold graphic one-hand watches. Uh, the watches themselves are manufactured uh, in Forsheim, Germany by the Eichler family. So it's a genuine uh, German-made watch, uh, which is great. Uh, and this watch brings a couple of things to the de facto line that are new. For one thing, it's a smaller watch at 40 millimeters. Uh, it's a quartz-based watch run on, running off of a Ronda 715 movement, whereas all their previous watches run off of ETA 2824-2s. Uh, and it's uh, their most inexpensive watch. Uh, 280 euros, which comes to about $345, but of course that'll change with uh, exchange rates. Uh, so yeah, let's take a closer look. The case of the de facto detail has a very uh, simple design that works well to emphasize the uh, fairly graphic dial. Uh, it's a 40 millimeter case with a 46.75 uh, lug to lug uh, and 20 millimeter lug width. Uh, as you can see, it's a, it's a matte case, so it has like a, a, a sandblast finish. Um, at 3 o'clock, you have this 5 millimeter crown, which is uh, relatively small, but it works well with uh, the overall uh, proportioning of the, of the case. Uh, and one of the great things about uh, the case and the, the fact that they use a quartz movement in this watch is that uh, they've maintained a very, very thin profile. So as you can see here, it's only 6.6 .6 millimeters thick. Um, once again, then the 5 millimeter crown, you know, doesn't overhang there, so it works well. Um, uh, it's, it's actually really nice. It's probably one of the thinnest uh, watches we've uh, encountered here at uh, Worn and Wound. Um, and, you know, the overall effect is that you have this kind of very, uh, it's, a, it's a nice medium-sized watch, but it has a, you know, very light weight, um, and it would be very easy to wear. Um, one other nice feature to note uh, with this watch, which, like I said before, comes in about $350, is that it does have a sapphire crystal on it with an anti-reflective coating. Taking a look at uh, the dial now, the de facto detail, uh, you can say, see that it stays very true to the uh, de facto aesthetic. So it's a non-numeral dial um, where really the emphasis is on line weight, line proportion. Um, so uh, just looking in now, basically this is a watch that comes down to a, a, a accuracy of five minutes. So your smallest lines here are five minute markers. Uh, then the second or the medium range lines are 15 minute markers and the largest lines are an hour. Now if you've ever used a, uh, one, uh, a one handed watch you know that it takes a little getting used to um, and that precision uh, as far as telling time is a little different so here you know you can see it's about, it's, it's, it's about 105, it's about a little bit past 105 um, and that's just kind of how you tell the time you know it's between 105 and 110 so you know a range. Um, uh, which is just an interesting thing on how these work. Now, uh, as far as the face goes, you know, it's very austere. You have the de facto logo there, uh, very nicely proportioned, just below 12. And then looking at the hand here, it has this very nice, slightly needle shape. So it, uh, it, it's bold, it's noticeable, but uh, overall, nothing really uh, overweighs anything else. It's a very kind of uh, subtle and uh, well-designed dial. Uh, it is also available in the inverse color here, so you can get it with a white dial with black markings and a black hand. So taking a look now at the de facto detail on the wrist, uh, you can see the 40 millimeter uh, case design and the uh, relatively uh, small uh, lug to lug. They can sit very comfortably on the wrist. Um, I have a seven inch wrist and uh, you know, I think that this is a very, very nice uh, size. Uh, it kind of, you know, puts it in the genre or, or kind of in the in the sizing where I think I could wear this in a more kind of conservative or formal setting. Uh, it's not uh, ostentatious. It doesn't stand off the wrist too much, um, but it has good wrist presence, which is you know brought to you kind of by the the really strong graphic design of the watch. Um, as far as comfort goes, like I said, the watch is is only 6.6 .6 millimeters thick, so. You know, it's really flat, it's really comfortable, it's really lightweight. Um, and that's also due to the strap that he put on it. So this is a, a 20 millimeter black calf leather strap. Uh, it's very soft, it's very supple. It's actually a really, really high quality strap, I have to say. Uh, it has a, also a brushed steel uh, uh, buckle here that says de facto on it. Um, it. It's just, you know, it's the right strap for the watch. So just to wrap everything up about the de facto detail, uh, this new offering from the brand, uh, uh, it does some very interesting things, you know. Like I said, it is a smaller offering, it's a quartz offering, and uh, it's a more affordable offering uh, coming in at $350, which, you know, I think will f a lot of people will find uh, very tempting uh, because, you know, a one-handed watch might 
unto itself be a little bit of a strange commitment. And um, this can you know, definitely give you an introduction to uh, what wearing a one-handed watch is like. Um, and not at, you know, sacrificing quality uh, in materials or quality of design to do so. And uh, like I said, there's a German-made watch. It has a sapphire crystal. Uh, it's, it's really, it's a very high quality watch. Um, so uh, we like it a lot. Uh, we think uh, a lot of people will too. So once again, this is Zach at Warner Wound. Uh, you know, follow us on uh, Twitter, uh, Tumblr, Facebook, and uh, just uh, keep coming back for more. Thank you. Goodbye.